Okay, so turns out by content updates every Monday, they really do mean all of it is on Monday. So we are getting the previews today. Let's take a look. Ah, this is Faust. Let's see. As expected, gain aggro. We're looking at the Uptai 4 version, take note. So Uptai 3 might not have the aggro or it might have. I'm not sure. I don't know if Femoon will make it the standard from now on. Really not sure how Uptai 4 is going to fit in here. Might as well make everything into an Uptai 4, honestly. But anyway. Gain X aggro to this skill slot next turn. Or gain defense level up next turn. Okay, interesting. This is a defense level up character. Yep, so we are getting a defense level up flavor of Zwei Defender. Apply X defense level up to ally with the lowest HP percentage. At X level up, this skill gains clash power. And on hit, you gain defense level up, defense level up, defense level up. Okay. At X plus defense level up, you gain coin power plus Y on Law and Order. 2 coin, 3 coin, 2 coin, as we saw in the trailer. Clash win, you heal HP. Okay, interesting. Apply X haste. And Y defense level up next turn to ally with the lowest HP. If the ally is a Zwei fixer, apply an additional haste and defense level up. Okay, so this is the first time we see a Zwei association fixer. Okay, interesting. On guard, you gain aggro to this skill slot next turn. At the start of the combat phase, apply defense level up to the two allies adjacent to this unit on the dashboard. If target's HP is below X percent, apply it. Yup, so as you can see, this character is a tank. Skill 1 and guard are your tanking abilities to get the aggro to pull moves to you. And then the other moves here are to help build up your defense level, apply defense levels to allies, and also to uh, clash them and then heal HP and have a little bit of Zwei fixing. That's why uh, association fixer synergy. Okay, interesting, interesting. At the start of the combat phase, apply X defense level, and this passive here straight up just supports an ally with low HP giving them more defense level up. Interesting. So this is the first time we see if the ally is Zwei Association Fixer, which means we're getting the Zwei Gang together with this line here. Let's see if Gregor has this as well. All right, two, four, three. I wasn't wrong. That was actually a four coin move that I saw in the trailer. That's crazy. Um. Okay, so this pierce slash slash and this is slash slash slash. Okay, all right. Gain X defense level up. Or if you lose, you gain shield by your defense level and gain defense level up next turn. Okay, interesting. And on hit on the second coin, you gain X haste. On use, gain X defense level up. On use, gain plus X aggro to this skill slot next turn. So this is an aggro move. At X defense level up, gain Y clash power. So we are getting defense level up synergy. This is not on my list of things that I've been expecting, but I this is intriguing. At X defense level up, deal Y percent damage. This is a four coin move. As long as this coinage is not bad, right? This is actually a really good character. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. This is actually pretty decent because what happens is you pull uh, pull enemies to this move, you gain the defense level up. And if you're running the defense level up gang, then you will be able to get a lot of defense level up on this character because Zwei Faust uh, applies defense level up to ally the lowest HP. Oh, but that's a bit tricky, right? How are you supposed to apply it to him specifically? It's only to protect someone that's weaker. But maybe he can apply enough defense level up by himself, then he won't need to do it. Uh, we have to see the kit numbers in order to make sense of this. But looking very interesting because you gain clash power here and you get damage up here based on your defense level up. So this could be a very interesting solo character or could be run with a Zoi gang if the Zoi gang supported each other. This is uh, very interesting. Guardian. Apply X defense level power up, defense level up to all allies. Ah, there we go. There we go. Coin power plus X per Y defense level up. It should be to a maximum of something, but they haven't put it here. At X plus defense level up, deal Y percent damage. Apply X defense level up to all allies. Okay. So we have defense level up synergy and buffing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. This could be a character that you just throw in and perhaps just run him with a bunch of characters where you just keep buffing your defense level up. Uh, defense level here would mean the damage you take. Yeah, it's the shield icon. So this is actually not too bad as a damage mitigator. Maybe, maybe 
But I'm more interested in the coinage of this second skill here. He has four coins. If this coinage is not bad, right? I'm looking at some really powerful damage here with additional utility added onto it. So this is quite interesting. Let's look at the rest. Gain a shield by X times defense level up on self and gain aggro here. So aggro here, aggro here. And you gain a shield by your defense level up on yourself. Am I looking at a potentially new crazy good tank on Gregor of all people? Very interesting. If targeted, targeted by two or more attacks at the start of the combat phase, you gain it naturally. Wow. If at a percentage lower HP, you can gain defense level up. And if one ally with the highest max HP is targeted by two or more attacks, gain X defense level up. So, okay, this passive just straight up works only if you get hit by two or if you're low HP. I think that's quite similar to, uh, to Faust. At the start of the combat phase, apply... Oh, but this is adjacent allies. Oh, but she still does have the... Uh, if the target's HP is below X, apply additional. So this is interesting. If you run both of them, I think what you could do is you could make Gregor take all the hits. And then you use Faust to apply the defense level up to him, which in turn buffs him to do something. This is quite interesting because I've never thought of this. People always uh, expanding my brain with this kind of uh, builds. So the setup would be you want to try to stack as much defense level up onto Gregor as possible with Faust being a clear supporter of that strat. Uh, let's check out if the other characters can actually support this playstyle. Um, let's look at Sinclair. Sinclair, where are you Sinclair? Okay, Zwei Sinclair. Zwei Sinclair gives protection to the least HP. Okay, that does not really work out for this strat. But at the start of the combat phase, apply to two defense power up and one protection to all allies. This is defense power up. Is that the same? This is defense level up. I think defense power up is the skill, right? This is to buff up your defense skill, not the defense level, which is your shield icon. I think there's a difference here. So this one, this Zoya Sinclair does not really support this strat that well. Uh, what about Rodion? Rodion was recently released, but I don't remember her having anything to provide allies with something. So no, I don't think so. It's a very, very stingy... Uh, character here. Rodion only really shields herself. So tentatively only Faust and Gregor buff each other. But uh, okay how about Otis? Maybe Otis can do it? I remember Otis the buff version of Otis could perhaps do it. Let's see. Otis not this one. This one doesn't really work. Uh, it's the G Corp manager. No nope. attack power and protection to lower speed. This one is about speed not really about defense level okay quite an interesting archetype either way potentially gregor looks like he has a crap ton of damage and yes we are definitely getting into some Yu-Gi-Oh level of decks where there's like a billion conditions per skill i wonder how far we can go before we actually have to just study passages of skills but this is a very interesting setup i'm actually very excited because their coinages look really nice so if Gregor really has very good coinages, he might become a busted character and surprisingly, I'm looking forward to him right now. He's a very interesting uh, setup to get him to perform at his max capacity and I can't wait to see what his actual max capacity is. Uh, okay, so tentatively, if this somehow rolled 22 or higher, I would consider this a very good character already. And I just need to see like what are the numbers here before I can even say anymore, yeah. But if this number can roll like 20 plus, I think I'm I think we can call him pretty good already. Very, very interesting character. Looking like a oh man. Damn. Gregor okay, the good thing about Gregor, right, is that if you look at all of Gregor's like IDs, there's only a few of them that you really consider up time to four, right? Only uh, G manager, uh Liu section. Only these two lah, really. Unless you really want to do Rupture and Tremor Count for memes. But it's usually only these two. And then if you look at the Ego, right? It's uh... For the Ego, it's a bit interesting. Because for Gregor, Ego... I think only ADD is okay and Lantern is okay for up time to 4. Lantern is because you want a piercing AoE, you could do it. Uh, ADD is because it becomes AoE when you do it. Uh, wait, does it become AoE? Oh my god, it does not. Oh, it applies more Spark Discharge. 
And uh, actually, it's probably still okay at Uptight 3. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Breaker doesn't. I mean, Legend Domain functions perfectly fine at number 3. Number 4 will make you quite strong. Uh, Lantern becomes AoE at 4. Yeah. Becomes a 3 AoE at 4. So. Hmm. I don't know. I think in terms of whether this ID could be very important to Uptai, I have to check it again because I don't know what his Uptai tree looks like either, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna check it right now, but this Gregor is looking spicy, alright? So I'm going to wait for the numbers to come out on the 10th and then I'll talk about him a little bit more. But right now, this Gregor is looking real spicy. Faust surprisingly also looking real spicy. I thought a 2 star Zwei would never surprise me, but this is surprising because the 3 star has some defense level shenanigans and she can provide it to the lowest HP and since Gregor will be drawing all the aggro, this could potentially work out unless she herself uh, is the lowest HP, in which case it's kind of awkward. But and you know, this passive is here, she's always going to apply X defense level up to 2 allies. So I don't know, we need to see the speed also because this one's also a situation thing. Lots of things to consider but this is very exciting, I like this a lot. Yep, so I think that is it for now. Uh, did P Moon release anything else for today? Let's see, refresh. Nope, that's it for today, I think, so far. But yeah, okay, so these two units, and then we got a whole bunch of patch notes here, which I released minor videos for. But this is one really looking really good. I can't wait to see the numbers, and then uh, I'll judge them on the day itself, yeah. Alright, that's it for this video. You can leave a comment about what you think about this. And uh, I'll see you on the 10th, I think. Yeah, alright. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you for watching.